it's Rachel Ariana, and thank you so much for watching my YouTube video today. Today, I cleaned my house. My house was a mess. I cleaned the common areas of the house. So the common areas of my home are the areas that we all use. So the kitchen, dining room, the hallway, and the family room. It was a cluttered up mess, and things needed to also be wiped down. I needed to do the floors as well. If you want to come along with me and see me clean my dirty, dirty house, continue watching. Okay, so the first place that I started today was in the kitchen. The kitchen is a pretty cluttered mess. You can see there's toys on the island. There are food and snack items on the countertop. The oven, or sorry, the stove is getting pretty grimy. Dishes in the sink and just cluttered up coffee station. The first thing that I like to do when I go into the kitchen is to clean the sinks. So I always just use a little bit of dish soap and just get the sinks nice and clean and soapy before moving on to other things within the kitchen. like to do after the sink is I like to move on to the microwave and clean it. So over time the microwave does get pretty grimy with splattered food items inside of it. Even though we do do our best to cover things before we microwave them, it just tends to happen. So that is always my next step. And then of course, remember, have fun. I always like to listen to music and dance and just bounce around as I'm cleaning. It always makes the cleaning go by so much better and faster. So I always take off the little top black burners, wash them in the sink, and wipe down the stove top to get all the grease, crumbs, and grime off of it. just to kill any germs, anything that happened to be there. I wipe down the appliances as well that sit on the countertop. And I also will go ahead and finally put away those snacks where they belong in the pantry. <laughs> and then once again, as you can see, I'm just dancing along, enjoying my cleaning time, listening to some good music just to help the time go by faster and energize me. Now it's time to tackle the island, so I'm going to go ahead, declutter the island, and give that a good wipe down as well with some disinfectant wipes. Now that the kitchen is clean, it is time to tackle the dining room table. As you can see, it's uh, become a place for just hanging jackets, toys, and just overall needs a good wipe down. Now the next room to be clean is the family room. The family room is where we watch TV, play our video games, and just generally relax as a family in the evening time. As you can see, it's messy, I get cluttered up, and just needs to be straightened out, and the carpets need to be vacuumed and cleaned. once 
weeks. I usually use the carpet cleaner, especially when I start to see the high traffic areas getting dirty, or if I start to smell the dog smell in the house. So any of you that have animals, especially dogs, you do start to smell, it just does start to smell like dog. Let's just keep it real. So I, when I start to smell that smell or it starts to look a little bit dirty in the high traffic area, I pull out my carpet cleaner and clean the entire carpet. Now that the family room is done, including the carpets, I move on to the floors in the rest of the house. So first I will vacuum the entire home. So I will vacuum the dining area, the hall, and the living room area as well as the kitchen before I mop the floors. After I vacuum the entire house, I move on to actually cleaning the floors. So for the wood floors, I use Murphy wood soap in just a spray bottle where I'll spray it onto the floors and then use a really soft, soft cloth broom to clean the surface of the wood floors. I really just love just old-fashioned pine salt. I love the smell of it. I really feel that it, can, it really freshens the air. So just on the tile floors, I use a regular sponge mop and diluted pine salt to clean the tile in my kitchen. Once I'm done cleaning, I always love to behold the fruits of my labor and look at how the house looks all clean. There's nothing more satisfying than going around and looking at your home once it's clean and peaceful. I always feel more at peace once my home is clean. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye.